The day passed and night fell on the town, silent and still and cold. The houses lay huddled and dark beneath the watching stars, and only the inn windows streamed with light. could have some decent and well-mannered maids. <laughs> Why do you sit there staring at the fire, so silent, so waiting, and so still? I do not know. I'm waiting. Waiting for what? I do not know. For something new and strange. Something I've dreamed. Long ago, in the sunshine and the summer grass of childhood, when the sky seems so near, I do not know its shape. It's will, it's purpose, and yet all day. Come in, I cannot who they are. We have no room. Go to the door. Well, is this the inn? Yes. Sir, we are travelers, and it's late and cold. May we enter? Who is it? A pair of country people, a woman and a man. I'm sorry. My wife and I are weary. Maybe. I'm sorry, my good man. We have no room tonight. The prefect's orders. No room at all. No, no, it's not my fault. I'm not my own master. Not tonight. It may be in the morning. Wait. Must you mix in this? Oh, wait. Good sir, the enemy are in our house and we... child. We have no room here now, that's true, and it would not be right, not here, not now. But we have a stable at the inn, safe from the cold at least, and if you choose, you shall be very welcome. Will you share it? Gladly and with great joy. The torch, husband. Nay, nay, I will take it. I can see the path.
come in. There's a frost upon the air tonight. I'm cold. Yes, I must be cold. That's it. Come, shut the door. Something begins. Starlit and sunlit. Something walks abroad in flesh and spirit and fire. Something is loosed to change the shaken world. 